Welcome back to wow. what? It's just been a minute. <laughs> so it's been a week, y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to this episode of Emergency Intercom. For them, it has. It, I guess for them, it has literally been a week. Yeah. Um. But it's been like ten days for us. We haven't seen each other in ten days. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm serious. I guess in my head, it's not too crazy because I literally was like disappearing for a month at a time for like a ever. Year. Yeah yeah i miss those times i miss running away i want to run away again i miss when people would miss me now you guys have me all the time and you don't care about me you don't like no that's how i fucking feel i go away <laughs> for 10 days i go through the worst experiences oh, of my life my, so... my hometown <laughs> literally developed a hemorrhagic form of covid it made you bleed from your eyes and your asshole it was so gnarly it was the scariest thing in my life and they put us on lockdown <laughs> And they put a dome, a dome, a glass <laughs> dome over my whole Wait, town. they gave everyone dome? Yeah, they gave everybody head. To the, and that's how we got rid of it. <laughs> no, they put a glass dome over Granberry and there were rumors of nukes. So I had to sneak out at night with my family. And that's how I'm here. So you should be. And my fucking teeth were stolen. <laughs> should I go into that a little bit? I don't know. I don't know. Y'all Drew's just... been saying that at the dentist they gave him radiation therapy. <laughs> the dentist just randomly gave me chemo <laughs> and radiation it was fucked up i was literally like ble- bleeding i don't know and they took my teeth I didn't have teeth for a week but you do have your teeth now so how'd you get them back black market i stole them they look exactly like your old one thank you i killed was that hard i killed 36 people to assemble this set oh wow that's just don't tell them though. well our mics could probably pick that up sorry there's a copter there's a copter can you hear that kai kai are you picking up that copter outside there's a helicopter circling right now. We're probably going to be arrested in the next few minutes. Um, just like so keep, uh, keep your <laughs> tax. tax fraud. Um, did anything else happen? That, did anything that actually happened happen that you want to talk about? Oh, so now you're telling me that my experiences aren't valid. <laughs> Is that what you're telling me now? Wait, also, um, what, what, what finger do you rest your phone in? S- my pinkies someone the other day posted something that that like is um will lead to arthritis because you're like putting such a big strain on your pinkies and it can lead to your wrist getting arthritis and it freaked me out and also i have my, the, the ugly dents in my pinkies yeah so i'm gonna stop using my phone i just feel like i have like a oh really fascinating a phone that's actually really fascinating Personally. yeah so i better not see you on it like this episode well i need to look at it for notes that's different it's for I work you stopped using it though no because it's well, because I, I didn't want to have to have my notebook. I didn't want people to think that I was so old-fashioned. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> so you I should was... bust out a typewriter one day. Just... <laughs> I have one. Just... <laughs> um, um, yeah, but in Texas, my teeth were stolen. Nukes were dropped. Um, <laughs> the craziest thing is I... <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that one. That happened. It's just too intense. Or you just... Oh, I'll yeah. just move on to the next, <laughs> next thing. I think I know what you're going to say. Um, I got sent away to prison. <laughs> so... I did. I did. I did, y'all. And I had to... Oh, I could go in. I thought you... Like, I know things that actually happened in Texas. And I was like, yeah, I guess I'd be kind of weird to bring it up. Don't bring that up. Yeah, I know. But I, like, went to prison because I, like, stood my ground. Um, <laughs> Doing what? <laughs> I forgot. (laughs) What did I say I went to prison for? I don't know. You've been lying all week. I don't know how to keep up. (laughs) I I think I went to prison. (laughs) Oh, because I had like a giant dick and it's illegal. (laughs) It's illegal to have a big penis in Texas. Yeah, that is what you said. So I went to prison for having a big penis in Texas. It's this long story. I don't even want to get into it. um, Oh, it's it's a long story? Yeah. Uh, But basically, I went to prison um, you didn't even the, get my joke. I was no, I did. Like my penis is long. This <laughs> <laughs> I just ignored it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Uh, I like when I got in there immediately. I was like, yo, like I need to like stand my ground and be like the man this prison needs. So immediately, I went up to like the strongest <laughs> gang in there and spit in their face, which was stupid because I was only in there for four days. Um, and then I started this like underground. Um, 
what's it called uh like economy with slim gyms so all of y'all's donations um but they didn't donate who donated to just all the viewers they like they <laughs> really were, they <laughs> like, stood by my side like they were there for me and like listener like thank you for putting money on my what is that cesspool we, we Kai, what is that the, what you put commission like commissary commissary yeah, thank you for putting money on my commissary like <laughs> i was able to buy slim gyms <laughs> I was able to buy enough Slim Jims to start a little Slim Jim economy. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, I, I traded three up for a shiv and I protected myself for four days and I'm here. I like, I'm not kidding. Once we start getting like, like, like a hundred views, I'm going to start posting <laughs> videos lying like that. And like, just like, like Wait, slap lying. myself in the, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to like slap myself in the face, make me look really right and beat up and be like, I just got in my house. <laughs> uh, someone was in here and I had to fight them out. I'm no, just... I'm just gonna, like, it's so fun to lie because y'all's reactions are so fucking <laughs> funny. Like y'all don't put up with it anymore. Like I literally like, Drew, shut the fuck up. Oh, it's, it's like how we, um. I posted the the picture of New York and everybody was like, are you there? And I was just like, no. Yeah. I was just like, yeah. Literally, um, I posted it as well. And all my New York friends were like, are you here? And I was like, no, I'm just lying. Like, literally, like, I'm just <laughs> I'm lying. just bored. I was because I was telling my friends, I was like, who's going to like, literally, who's going to check me? Like, if I say I'm here. And you ask to hang out, I'm just going to be like, oh my God, I actually leave I'm tomorrow. I'm so busy. Yeah, I'm so busy. And then I, I leave on Wednesday. That's what I was telling some people. I was like, I was like, oh, it's like me. But I'll be back in, on the 25th. Yeah, so. I know. I'm like, literally, I'll, I'll be back immediately. Like, yeah. don't worry. No, that's what I was telling everybody. I was like, uh, like, I'm not here right now, but I'll be here in a week. I'm just posting this because everybody else is. Yeah, I just want to make fun of people. Stop posting. I'm like, stop posting the sky when I do the same thing. But I don't. I don't post the sky like that anymore. I've just evolved past <laughs> posting the sky. Like I've seen it enough times. Um, but yeah, that's Drew's update of how it was for him in Texas. There are some real things, but I'll let you talk for a little bit because I've been talking for the last. My few shit is nothing. I literally have just been like, imagine, imagine me like getting up in the morning and like, I get up, I put on especially because like josh wasn't here so i had the house to myself for a while i would get up and like put on boxers and put on my uggs and walk around like hobble around the house shirtless <laughs> and uggs and boxers because it was getting so cold in the house that like my feet were like in pain that was so my I, feet this morning yeah too. i have to wear my uggs in the house so i would just like hobble around in my uggs for a while like boil some eggs eat like boiled eggs i i can't then I can't go sit that. at my computer I and cannot edit with the eggs I just sat at my computer editing and eating eggs all week. And no. then every now and then I would get invited out for a drink and I would go drink and then like chain smoke a pack of cigarettes and then be like, wake up the next morning with like three extra pimples and be like, what the fuck? Why am I breaking out again? And then I would do it like the two days later. The severe amount of mm -hmm. eggs consumed in this last week in this house is actually concerning. Maybe three dozen. Yeah. I can't believe that. And, and right before I left. And it was like, I, I, cause I said, I was like, dude, I am just over eggs. I like can't do eggs. And he was like, you know what? Like, I think I'm over eggs as well. And I was like, fucking finally. Like, no, you just, you know what? The, the beauty about eggs is they come in all different forms. It's like, if I were to stand up and be like, um, <laughs> I was going to. I was gonna make a joke and be like, it's like if I stood up and was like, I'm over women. Like, I just don't find them attractive anymore. But there's just so many women <laughs> to, to find a joke. I was gonna, I was trying to make a joke about like, they come in all shapes and sizes and of beauty and you can have them and you could cook them in any so way you, you like. So you fetishize certain no of... that's the beauty about it is i yes i do hyper fixate on one kind of woman <laughs> but then i get really disgusted it... and fucking tired of it and i think it's gross and it's the nastiest thing oh ever my god. and i move on to the next category oh my god and that's how i treat people that's actually really brave that you would admit that <laughs> thank you no i actually don't please don't no, spread she, that rumor <laughs> she does <laughs> no, she does um but yeah like eggs you could just have so many ways i'm over they're like potatoes eggs. they're like potatoes they're so versatile <laughs> People who eat sweet potato fries do it for attention. Sorry, I stole that joke, but it's true. That's not my joke. I used to only eat sweet potato fries. I don't even think it's like for a health reason. I was just like, oh, sweet potato fries are so good. Now, if I got sweet potato fries put in my face, I would throw up on them. No, absolutely. Like, I don't get it. Never will. They're like candy. Like, like 
Just eat a fucking regular potato. I'm sorry. It makes no sense. It makes no sense to me. Sweet potato is really fucking good, dude. It's some sweet potato and like a sweet green salad or just a salad in general, like a sweet potato. No, I'm down for sweet potatoes, yams, all that. But like sweet potato fries, like if you have the option... To not get sweet potato fries, why are you getting sweet potato fries? If you are buy, if you are purchasing sweet potato fries, knowing damn well the only condiment is ketchup, you are going to prison. You're Who rancid. the fuck is dipping sweet potato fries in fucking ketchup? I'm You're gonna shoot rancid. you. No, I'm gonna shoot you in the feet and push you over and stab you in the fucking lungs and step on you. Uh, like I, I. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, she's gonna. <laughs> I, that's a joke I'm reusing. I made a TikTok saying that and woke up the next morning and it got taken down and I was banned from posting for a week because people kept kept fucking tagging me on that nasty smiley piercing video, which is offensive. Actually, I'm going to get into that. I'm going to get yeah, into that. Get into it. Don't fucking tag me in that nasty breath, those fucking disgusting ass people who don't take care of their piercings. If my piercing started to look funky and made my breath smell like shit, I would take it out. Simple as yep. that. Because yep. what's more important, having a stupid fucking piece of metal in my mouth or or being sexy, hot, and pretty and actually caring about myself sexy, like most pretty. sexy, hot, pretty people do. Exactly. I'm not fucking dirty. Don't fucking tag me in that shit. It actually pissed me off. And I just hate seeing like, bitch, brush your fucking teeth. Brush yeah. your fucking teeth. Yeah. Because they had plaque building on their fucking piercing. That's what I'm saying to you. Piercing. Like, your piercing is like gross looking now. <laughs> You're so annoying. Um, your gums are turning it, black. It, also, yeah, I was like, Necromancer. that person has like, that... that the black gums are not from that smiley piercing because she never even touched on it. Yeah. I was like, that's either someone's birthmark or they have like a separate poor gum issue. Health. Yeah. Or <laughs> probably <laughs> if you don't take care of your teeth. Um, poor dental hygiene. But yeah, I was just like, that's a different problem. But like also their shit being infected and they were like, why didn't you take it out? Why did you not take it out? Like, yeah. what did you think was going to happen? Um, but yeah, oh, basically I told people stop fucking um, <laughs> tagging me in it because the next person who tagged me in it, I was going to contact tiktok find their address through tiktok corporation go to their house stab <laughs> them in the chest shoot them in the feet push them over and step on them. oh my god <laughs> and that was from top of the dome nice hey i don't, I don't write shit because i ain't got time i use a tablet of my mind <laughs> <laughs> little wayne he did not say tablet of my mind i don't know i don't know lyrics he probably did though <laughs> i don't write shit have it on my mind right, no shaking. he did not say that because i wait what song is that from a milli a million no here, he did not say he there. didn't say tablet in that because that song is like old enough that like tablets weren't like common no i think he meant like ancient tablet <laughs> you are no so... he meant his kindle <laughs> yeah his amazon kindle amazonian <gasps> mm. that's what they should call the workers amazonians oh yeah <laughs> amazonian goddesses um, no th- but since we were talking about teeth, I might as well actually talk about my teeth. Um, so I went to the dentist in Texas, um, yeah. and I had some. I had a toothache, which like I haven't gone to the dentist in probably like five or six years. Which like already as it should be already for me is like a red flag because like I just have like <laughs> I just have like so many teeth problems from a kid. Like I just have like really acidic breath or something i don't fucking know (laughs) my enamel is all melted off from a kid but i like from a kid (laughs) from being a kid um so i went and sat down in the dentist chair or whatever and i was sitting there and she like opened my mouth and like without even like looking at my teeth she was she like opened my mouth looked inside for like maybe two seconds and then pulled out her like uh tools and she was like do you drink a lot of energy drinks and i was like I was like, why do you ask? And she's like, because it looks like you drink a lot of energy drinks. And I was like, I mean, like my entire personality online for like two years was literally Red Bull. Like it was literally me drinking Red Bull. And she was like, she was like, huh, that's weird because your teeth are like destroyed from those energy drinks. And I was like, oh my fucking God. (laughs) So like the only reason I had to pay $4,200, $4,262. What did they do for all that? They, They filled three cavities um and then i had a root canal because one of my teeth was so fucking disgusting that it reached one of my roots and my thing and they had to go in there and scrape all that shit out canals are like an older person problem you shouldn't have a root canal no that's what i'm saying my teeth were destroyed from red bull so like stop drinking red bull stop drinking acidic drinks in general but i told her i was like i did for like three years but then i haven't for like the last year because they made my heart hurt 
um, they like fucked up my heart. And she was like, huh, well, the damage already been done. And so she was like, basically, like, you're going to be dealing with this for the rest of your life. Dude, that's gnarly. I wonder, I, I probably have that then, too, because I was, no, but I haven't been drinking Red Bull kind of since I moved to L.A. And right mm-hmm. before I came to L.A., I think that year was like my last time at the dentist. Yeah. I got like three cavity. I also got like three or four cavity filled. Yeah. I have a lot of cavities. What Are cavities from sugar? What is that like? I don't even care. I like have <laughs> completely neglected that like side of the world because it's really a sore subject for me. It's literally so was, expensive. Yeah. Well, literally not even that. But when I was like a kid, um, me and Madeline, like I have my twin sister, Madeline, like we would go in together and get our teeth looked at. And they had this wall of like kids who had like came in and had zero cavities. And like there was like a bunch of kids on there. And every time I would have like one or two cavities and Madeline wouldn't have any. And I was like brushing the fuck out of my teeth until Which was they probably bled. not good. No, what, it's it, because I, I found out why. And they told me they were like, oh, like it's literally not his fault. He has good like dental hygiene, like his gums, he's flossing, all this shit. But it's because I have... Um, like, like acid, acid reflux. reflux and when i'm asleep it like without me even realizing like bubbles up and then that acid like melted my enamel off when i was a kid so now i have just fucking no enamel teeth that like um causes me to have cavities regularly and i'm a dentist dream because they just get to fucking milk me of all my money always i feel like i have um probably like i have a i have a cavity that got filled and i know the uh the teeth that get filled they stain quicker because like obviously it's not like your regular teeth so i have a tooth that's in the back of my mouth that like it looks like the worst <laughs> cavity brown. ever it's like so gross <laughs> but like i don't fucking care like i'm not going to the dentist like if someone wants to pay for me to go to the dentist sure i'll like right run on. in there i don't care but am i going to allocate the funds for myself fuck no bitch that's unless so my shit bad. is falling out or it hurts nothing hurts yeah my teeth are moving i think because Maybe my wisdom teeth are coming in, but I don't give a fuck. I'll wait till that shit's infected and like rotting over. Like I <laughs> no, literally don't so care. No, that's so bad. That's the reason why I went was because I was like, okay, like I've heard so many horror stories of people just like waiting too long to get their teeth fixed and then having to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. Like I'm just going to go in, get these cavities filled, like, and then call it that and spend maybe a thousand dollars total. But I just waited too long and I had to spend four thousand two hundred and sixty two fucking dollars. I'm gonna out go of my somewhere pocket. in like Miami where like the dentist is in like a plaza next to a little Caesar so I can like pay really cheap. That's what literally what I'm gonna do. They're gonna That's give you did. porcelain veneers. Good. <laughs> They're gonna like take bone fragments from dog bones <laughs> in the back and carve teeth out of them and stick them in. They're gonna give you wooden teeth. Good. Um but just another thing that I used to do at the dentist when I was younger was um I used to like, after a while, I got used to like getting cavities filled and I knew like what this mask they put on my face was. I didn't know what it was, but I knew it made me feel good. But when I was a kid, I was getting like an insane amount, twice a year, an insane amount of laughing gas put into my body. Like nitrous oxide, people do whippets of it now. Um, Well, when I was a kid, they would put it on me and I would get fucked up, like absolutely loaded, like seeing God moments, like looking up at the paintings on the ceiling and like the bright lights, like buzzing my vision and like having auditory hallucinations, like all this shit as like a child, like it was like literally mind blowing. Like I would look over at this painting and like have like hallucinations of the people in it, like moving and shit, like, which is crazy to think about if you've like done nitrous oxide, like as an adult, like that shit kind of doesn't really happen. But as a kid, like I was getting an insane amount pumped into me, which I don't know if I should have been, but I caught on. I realized when I got cavities, I would get the nitrous oxide. So then for like three years of my life, I was like, very sparingly just like shittily like brushing my teeth just to get the stank out of my mouth and that was it but i was actually like cognitively getting cavities on purpose to get fucking high from that um guess. well i never went to the doctor growing up and never went to the dentist so i didn't have any experience with any drugs i got vix put on my chest slapped on there and i got my ass sent to my room someone needs to like investigate the nitrous oxide to drug experimenter pipeline like there has to be a connection there because like maybe weed isn't the uh gateway drug 
maybe nitrous oxide from the dentist is and no one wants to have that conversation no, fully i feel like most people who end up like experimenting or people who like have like intense surgeries and shit at a young age and they're like all right Wait, here's this, your opioids this like- morphine <laughs> felt kind of good me in like seventh grade after my knee surgery i was like <laughs> I was like, wait, <laughs> wait a damn minute. Run that back. I don't have the raw dog life. I can just I don't have to take raw dog life. This perk thirty and ruin my life. Perk thirty, I believe they're it's fentanyl. Fentanyl. Um but yeah, I didn't go to the dentist until like high school because my teeth were fucked up. Actually eighth grade was like one of my first memories of actually going to the dentist was I remember I had to get like fucking five cavities filled in eighth grade. <laughs> Before I got my braces and I got them filled. And then I got braces because I don't even know if I want to insert a picture of what my teeth looked like before. <laughs> she had the, the pictures... ankle biters. No. <laughs> the dogs were out. I used to tell people, I, I like, <laughs> the way I describe it is my teeth were literally playing soccer. Like, they were, like, all, like, shuffling around each other trying Foosball to kick a ball. Table. Like, yeah. Um, and my teeth are actually, I don't think they've moved that much, but. They really haven't. I think I just now realize that they have moved since I was like younger. Cause I was even looking at a video like from a few months ago. And when I like backed my head up to laugh, I could see that my teeth were moving. And for some reason now it's becoming like a really big insecurity really? of mine. Like, yeah, now I'm get, starting to get really insecure about like my teeth and they, I think they have moved a little more in the past like year. So that's why I'm noticing them more now, but I'm like really insecure about my teeth. You but, have beautiful teeth. Thanks, babes. My beautiful cavity-ridden teeth. But I don't have any, like, tooth pain, so I don't think I have, like, a root canal or oh, anything. Oh, they can be in there without... Um, they... I don't think I need a root canal or anything. No, probably not. You I, know. I, yeah, I have, like, zero pains in my teeth. The only time where, um, like, there was, like, two weeks where, like, the back of my jaw was, like, really hurting. Like, this dull, weird pain. And then I was like, I'm assuming that's my wisdom teeth, like, starting to grow out, but it's not hurting. Let any, me like, explore ever. in there. You want to explore my mouth? Yeah. Okay, I'll shrink you down and throw I'll, you in there, and toss you back. Oh, actually, that's one of my toxic traits. If we if we want to just get into it, yeah, is that I just don't believe in going to the doctor. I don't fucking care. Like <laughs> I genuinely don't care. Like, like it, the second like a manager or someone wants to be like here and yeah, like next time you're getting paid for something, we're gonna allocate the funds and like keep them. Actually, no, I'd be like, give me that shit. Don't fucking play with me. Like you're not my mom. Like stop playing with me. So literally nothing could make me go to the doctor unless my mommy or daddy like brought me there and like they went to go pay and then I was like stop like you like uh, I guess I'll pay for it. I feel that there were six months recently very recently that I was like heavily convinced that like doctors were just lying to everybody and and, like (laughs) I could fix all my problems myself with my fucking (laughs) weird holistic chemicals which like there is some validity to that. Yeah because in my head I'm like. I'm like cavemen didn't have perk thirties, but had also to they lived to like thirteen years old, and like they were grown adults <laughs> when they were thirteen, um, and now we live to like a hundred. But there is some validity to like my stack or whatever that I take now. But I'm like, I won't, I like going to the doctor. I I'll say I like going to the hospital. I like going to the doctor. I you, love the attention. Because you like gives. attention. I love the attention. See, I brings. don't. It literally gives me so much anxiety because I'm like, I don't I'm like. No, I don't care. Like, I I literally I I can't stress enough. I don't fucking care. Like, but I care, and I want you to be well. I don't care. You no. What you need to do is go get your fucking stomach looked at because it's ridiculous. It's been too care. long. What? So they could tell me I have IBS and be like, all right, here's your card so you can shit wherever you want, and then like m- like. I don't, I don't even know if there's a cure for IBS or something. life easier. I think you just have to point like a blow dryer at your stomach or something. I think also they might they might tell me what I can and can't eat, but I don't want that shit either because I oh, want to eat whatever that, the fuck I want. They did that to me when I had my shit looked at. Um, they were like, you can't eat this, this, and this. And I legitimately threw the paper out the same day. I was like, I'm, I refuse <laughs> to like follow a diet. Like I'm not eating like fucking seeds. I, I'm sorry. Like I'm, yeah, I just don't believe in it. Like. I don't care if something's gonna happen like it's gonna happen <laughs> like l- like that's one of my toxic traits I just don't believe in it I don't care about the fucking dentist unless my teeth started like fucking hurting and like falling out and like I was swallowing them in my sleep then I would like start going to the dentist and be like give me a fake one or I would just hit someone up on IG and be like give me veneers like come on like we we have progressed past needing dentists but just can get veneers actually I would never get veneers though I think veneers were the worst thing done to humankind and I think it's so mean um, I think there are some there's cases natural, there's natural like veneers that are done naturally that I'm like 
oh, those look really good. I'm thinking of ones that like now, like fucking people who do Botox are also like, come and also we'll do your teeth. Like we'll, we'll touch your teeth too. And I'm like, no. Two and one. I'm like, you shouldn't be getting your teeth done by someone off IG. You Stark should be going white. to. Um, um, well, one you. of my toxic traits, um, and this is a very real one. Um, and Kai witnessed it today partially, but not letting Inya or Josh clean the house because I have a very particular way of cleaning and then getting mad at Inya and Josh for not cleaning up the house. <laughs> the thing is, I, I think I keep the space like clean. I, I def didn't pick up before you got here. And I remember before I went and got you from the airport, I had made a content out there. I was like, Drew's going to be so annoyed by the way I have the house right now. I, I genuinely didn't. I wasn't annoyed at all. Oh, um, I just have like a way, my little way of doing things. I'm like, I put the dishes away before I do the other dishes. Yeah. And like, that, it drives me insane. Like, Inya like does her dishes, which is like awesome because like having her, I think like having a roommate that does her dishes is like rare. I don't fucking know. I think, I don't know. But Inya Josh does her dishes. Josh does not, has never touched the He has in his not life. touched the dishes once in his fucking life. But Inya does her dishes, but she doesn't put them away. And that drives me absolutely insane. I do sometimes. But then when she does put them away, she does it wrong. And I'm like, oh my God. So then I go in there and I know, that's the other thing. It. I don't put them away no, anymore yeah. because I would throw all the cups in there because I don't care how they look in there. I'm going to take them anyway. But Drew has all of it so particular that I'm like, I'm not about to sit here and waste my time. And also you don't like them put in there wet. And in my head, I'm like, if I'm here, I need to do it all at the same yeah. time. It's it's a whole fucking thing. And I'm like, I don't like, no, I but can't. But see, that's like, that's toxic. Like on my part, like you should be able to put the dishes away. But then also like. Yeah, there's just other little things that like, like I have to, yeah, I wake up early in the morning and I just like do my little cleaning, my tasks, and I am so angry while doing them. I'm like, why can't you just fucking wipe the ketchup off the fucking glass countertop in the, and it's mainly Josh's doing in there, but that, <laughs> our little Ottoman thing in there, what is that? The table, the, the coffee table, table. The coffee table is fucking rancid. Like every day I go in there and it's because we all eat our food on there and just like, I don't. Yeah, you don't. But like me and Josh do. And I clean up after myself. But No, then, but Josh leaves his whole set. You know, I started doing this thing, which is so annoying. <laughs> but Josh will be eating there and he'll spill something on there. And I'll go grab the spray bottle and spray it <laughs> and clean it while he's eating. So he knows. And I just know like when we have this like vinegar um, spray. And it I know it's, so bad. it stinks like shit. And I know some of it gets on his food. And I do it on purpose because I'm like, okay, like if you want to eat here you're gonna have to pick up after yourself but if you're not gonna pick up there up after yourself i'm gonna spray your food with windex and you're gonna eat windex <laughs> you're gonna get ammonia you're poison so your kin- kidneys are gonna melt um but you're gonna learn your lesson and yeah you, you do have your own ways i'm i'm curious to see what your own apartment is gonna look like i'm gonna let it go it's gonna be terrible <laughs> it's gonna be just disgusting i doubt it though because when i'm here alone i, I feel like i i tend to clean more when i'm alone in the house because i'm like like it feels like tending to my space it's kind of like how i always like am cleaning my room in a way yeah. i clean my room every day and it's always dirty to <laughs> me in my head like people go in there and they're like it's not dirty in here but i'm like dude it's it's so disgusting i haven't here. swept I'm sorry. today like i haven't i haven't like azul makes so much fucking fur it's and actually dust. ridiculous you know what it is it's our events and we have black mold um i just wanted to should i text the landlord right now yeah literally you're getting a live update of us communicating (laughs) with our landlord um our vents are rancid like absolutely the most disgusting thing i've ever seen in my entire life i actually don't even know if that's someone else's no because i it's more than just that it's that or no i think we have to clean no that. that is our duty to do but i just need to know where to get those like vent covers because it's home Depot. it's such a random size though like it's like we'd have to like cut to size or something i don't know but that's why i think we have mold poisoning which is another toxic trait of mine I think we have mold poisoning. I think our house is full of black mold and we're all just like in the, and that's why we're like sad. I sent in a, li- a screenshot of like all the symptoms and one of them is like no, depressive. Was, I was this depressed in the house where we apparently didn't have. But black I mold. wasn't. What happened in between there and here? Girl, a lot happened. <laughs> Life happened. But yeah, um, that's a toxic trait I have is I'm like fully convinced that um, there's toxic mold um in our couch specifically in our couch, couch is just gross a lot of the furniture in our house is just like gross but it's like why why replace it when yeah. at some like eventually i i feel like saying this people are gonna be like no, no like no, eventually no. we obviously all want our own spaces yeah. and i'm like not about to throw down like each of us throwing down like 
one to two k on a nice couch yeah when what the fuck are we gonna do split up the cushions when we leave like Like, it's not worth it and i don't want to buy that piece off of someone yeah um so we just have to leave it but yeah the couch is gross our couch is disgusting it like oh it radiates like humidity and heat and it stinks now there's piss on it i think azul pissed on the couch because it like i was gone azul pissed on the couch she missed you i know she probably beat while she was like scared of other people in the house when she like does that thing where she like just hugs into the corner yeah he's never pissed yeah he doesn't piss everywhere though so maybe one of the humans who sleep on that's what i was thinking i was i went into india's room and i was like has anybody slept on the couch recently and And i was like what and i was like because it smells like human piss on the couch because cat piss has a very distinct smell maybe it, it, it's just it's like in the bathroom there's like there's a scent starting in the house <laughs> it's there, the mold <laughs> there's a scent starting in the house i don't i don't want people to think our house is like gross it's not gross Kai, is our house gross uh yes yeah, motherfucker oh no motherfucker. Our, our house is not gross um it's as you would expect the house of like three like 20 year olds to be it's it's like cute and it's nice but it's not like super well furnished because like bitch we don't have to say it again like we're not look. raking in the dough like come on look. like i i think some people like we were kind of talking about this yesterday i won't go too in depth but i think some people see like specifically with me like with the clothing i own and like stuff and they're like damn how does she have all that money I, like how can she afford that Trust me, I ask the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, the thing is, like, I, I spend past what I need to be spending. And yeah. that's as far as I will get on my finances. Yeah. Um, publicly. But, um, yeah. Maybe if we, maybe if we had, like, good money like that, we'd be living in a house and not an apartment where we, not an my apartment room is with the a concrete room. backyard. With a concrete backyard in my room is the living room. <laughs> it's actually a two bedroom apartment. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Um, my other toxic trait is I am so nosy and I've talked about this lightly before, but it is a toxic trait. Like I, if you are talking to me, I will fully stop talking. Like I will stop communicating with you if something else comes up. If like, if someone else is walking by and I hear even the slightest word that's of interest to me, I won't let you know I'm not talking to you anymore. I will just start blocking you out and listening to the other person. And then I'll have to be like, oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. What? And like. That is a toxic trait because it's like really mean because people will just be like talking to me and it'll, it it doesn't even matter what fucking conversation we're having, having, like if you want to have a serious conversation with me, have it in, take me to the woods. Yeah. Have it between four walls with nothing on them and like nothing happening in that room. Cause then maybe, and even then still maybe I can fully listen, um, no, I think I'm, I'm a good literally listener. doing it right now. I didn't yeah, hear a word you said. Yeah, no. Are you doing the thing where you're just waiting for me to finish talking so no, you could? No, I was just like lost in my head. I was just like thinking of just like <laughs> other shit, like I, completely. Dude, yesterday other shit. when we, we, me and Drew had like a catch up talk last night for like three hours and so many moments of it, I would just be thinking of like eight million different things yep. and trying to listen to. But yeah, that's one of my toxic traits. Is I like I'm just fucking nosy. I'm too busy being chismosa. I don't have time. To talk to the people I love because I'm too busy trying to hear what shit other people are saying. Yeah, I was thinking about camping. That's what I was thinking about. I was like, we need to go on a camping trip. <laughs> That's where, I don't know how my brain got there, but I was like... Isn't it like too cold to go camping comfortably now? We could go to the Raphael Swells in Utah and camp in the desert and it wouldn't be too cold. But it would get cold at night. Oh, it also... It gets cold in the desert anyways. Um, this is kind of like my doctor's um toxic trait but it's like way worse especially because it's fully based in like the privilege that like as like a white person i can do this um my tag on my car is expired three years strong now (gasps) and my car this isn't like necessarily a privilege thing also my car needs an oil change and both of those are things i didn't get your oil change uh, yeah both of those are things i have no plans on doing that is not on my mind i was like Andy, you should get it done while i'm gone and i was like yeah you fully were like, yeah, I'll do I, it. I, the thing is, I only took my car out. I, I'm not kidding, Drew. I left the house in my car maybe three times the whole time. And then I was just sitting at my computer editing and working. Actually, maybe like four times because I went to like the grocery store twice. Word. And then like write it once. And then the heaven shop. And that's what I did for like uh, 10 days. That's the only time I left the house. And then if it wasn't like that, I was either getting in an Uber or someone was picking me up. Yes. Yeah. Hey, that's a good life though. That's kind of the life I lead. Like I Except just, you never get in the car. I know. I just like kind of. 
you hitch rides you're a hitchhiker i'm a hitchhiker baby um but yeah that's one of my toxic traits and my dad is not gonna hear this because i don't think he listens to full episodes i'm gonna say but i've him. been going back and forth with my dad about getting my t- i've been li- that You've i don't i lying. never lie to my dad You're but i've been lying to my dad he knows like yeah. that i'm lying but i've been lying to him about this tag literally for the past four years that i've lived here like He's always like, did you get your tag? Did you get your tag? And I'm like, yes, yes. Oh, my God. And then, like, I was driving the car once and, like, had him on speaker. And he heard the blinker. And he was like, are you driving right now? Because we had just had a conversation about me admitting that I didn't have my tags done. And then he was like, are you kidding? Like, are you actually kidding? Are you driving to go get it done? And it was, like, it was such a rhetorical question. Because for him, it was 9 p.m. And for me, it was 6 p.m. I was like, no, I'm going to dinner like i'm going to meet my friends and he's like you can't do that uh, he was like how far are you from the house go take the car back to the house and uber there and i was like i'm already five minutes away from where i'm going like i can't do that like i'm sorry um and then when i was in miami i lied to him again but he fucking i got myself caught and i had yeah. to admit to him that i was lying yeah. um but it's all fun and games but my dad literally was like scaring the fuck out of me because at one point i had no license <laughs> And my expired tag. You get pulled over, you're going to jail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jail. That was my dad You're was, going to jail. My dad was like, you're going to get a fucking felony. And then that scared the fuck out of me. So I got my license because oh. I was like, ah. <laughs> it was also really inconvenient to be like, okay, I'm going to New York. I need my fucking passport. Yeah. Like, did you see that they're going to update that you need um, a new kind of ID to travel in 2023? Are again. by 2023 yeah it's good it's like they were offering the it when we ID? first went yeah when we first went to the dmv and we they were offering it. it no now they're make like you have to get that I already have by it. 2023 yeah i thought they were doing that by 2022 you have that yeah you just gotta you get a star on your license that's it maybe i have that yeah you, if you got a license recently i'm pretty sure you got a real id mm-hmm. um well another one of my toxic traits um is thinking i can build slash make anything <laughs> That is very. I feel like that's such a man like toxic trait. No, literally, I can make anything, uh, but I have made nothing in my life. Like anytime, and he's like, "I want to buy this," and I'm like, "No, we can, we can go make that." And like, I, I swear (laughs) to God, I have never used a power tool once in my life. Like, Inya, I've built anything that's in the house. Anything in this house, Inya has like built, Um, and yeah, I'm just. I don't know where I got that blind <laughs> optimism from, but I genuinely believe it. In the moment when I say it, like, no, like, we can, I even say it about clothes. I'm like, oh, I can make that. <laughs> I've never sewed. I was going to say, you even say it about things that, like, you'll say it about glassware. Like, you're about to go blow glass. <laughs> I know. I, I'm like, like, oh, that vase is cute. Like, I can probably, like, figure it out. <laughs> but maybe that's, like, what makes me me, you know? No, that's what makes you a man. That's, like, one of the manliest traits about you is you being, like, I'm going to make it. Like, uh, But I, I cannot stress this enough. I have never made anything, <laughs> ever, ever in my life. Um, another toxic trait of mine that is actually toxic is I am always right. So I have to do it for it to be done right. But I will complain the whole time while doing yeah. it. Um, yeah, I, I am such a, like, piece of shit. Like, I need to have the final say. I need to have the final say, but I need to ask everyone their opinion and ignore it. It's a control thing. Yeah, I, a- I'm fully a control freak. Yeah. Like, even up to, like, the podcast and stuff, like, I am, like a fucking freak of nature and i am a tyrant and i like need to but no it's it's good on projects like this where like there needs to be some control but like on other little things i'm like like just let loose like let go no i can't like i i need i'm like just like i i I think i said it already but like you're like i don't have blind optimism like i have blind pessimism like yeah no it it will all go to shit if i am not stressing over and making sure it goes right and even if i'm putting all my time and stress into it it will 100 percent go wrong can i say something it all works out in the end even if it doesn't do you know why because that's the way it was meant to be exactly and we'll also just be dead like so it actually doesn't matter like josh <laughs> josh and we were talking about like old age and i was actually i don't know if i could say this 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 comes with a trigger warning but it's not it's not like i don't want it to be like the saddest thing ever it's just like this goes to show how morbid i am and i get it from my dad because when i was like 15 my dad was like talking about possibly <laughs> you're not letting go i'm down to keep holding hands it's like warm um when i was like 15 you know when your parents get to that age where they start talking about dying yeah. my dad has always threatened his <laughs> death to us even when, even when he was like 33 he'd be like i'm gonna fucking keel over and have a heart attack and y'all are never gonna see me again and i'd be like oh my my god my dad does the same fucking shit he's like you're gonna miss me when i'm gone like 
you're gonna miss. Where this. are you going? <laughs> like, <laughs> he's where like, are you going? You'll, like, I may be annoying you now, but like when I'm dead, you'll remember this. And I mean, it's working because it has not left me. In <laughs> now life. you live in fear. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like, yeah. You know what? I am gonna miss you when you're gone. <laughs> My you're dad? gonna miss me when you're gone. <laughs> Can you shut the fuck up? The cup song. When I was like 15, my dad literally looked. We were at. Mm-hmm. We were having dinner. Like it was not a part of the conversation. You're so annoying. Um, but my dad looked at us and he was like, "If I'm ever old, like of old age, I'm like a vegetable. You better fucking kill me." He, he was like, he was like, don't. He was like, Don't. I agree with that. He was like, and yeah, I know. That's where I get my like morbid ideas of like life and death because my dad fully drilled that into me, and I fully believe that shit. I'm like, bitch. My dad was like, if I can't like. Wipe my own ass? Yeah, if I can't wipe my own ass, Off I don't me. want anybody I don't want anyone who isn't me touching my ass. Like fucking put me out. Like I want me. people touching my ass. <laughs> it's so stupid. I do. Um, but yeah, he, he was like he was like just fucking he was like if I can't talk to you, why are you holding me? Like what like what is happening? Like let me go. Like he was like, especially if he was like, it's different if I'm like young and there's an accident. But if I am old, he was like, if I'm like eighty seven I'm not going to get up and start doing jumping jacks, girl. Let me go. Like, he was like, just call it quits. I was telling Josh that. I was like, not to be morbid, but like, I don't know. how. Uh, you tell me if this is too morbid, but I'm like, I, I don't even think it's morbid. I think it's like the toxic, like, aftermath of being someone who's been just like so depressed all your life and like always been like, if anyone's going to take me out, it's going to be me. Like, that's like always in my head. I don't believe I'm going to die in a car crash. I don't yep. believe like any of that shit. I don't think a murderer is going to get to me because I've said this before and let a murderer come in this house and I know they're going to murder me. I'm going to kill myself. And now you have to go to jail for it anyways. Yep. Um, like it's i'm not gonna die from like poison or like arson or some shit like i'm like i'm like i'm not gonna die from like some are crazy you not shit. going to <laughs> yeah i'm not dying of anybody's hands but my own because i'm also not dying of old age because i'll be damned if i'm still alive and i can't drive my car to go to lunch like are you <laughs> kidding me like if i'm to the point that like one of my girls hit me up and they're like let's have lunch and i'm like i have to my roll cataracts over. my yeah. cataracts have me blind <laughs> I can't see three feet in front of me. I have to be like dragged by some like young person who hates their job and hates me to go and like have lunch. Like, bitch, kill my ass. If I can't like get on Depop, kill my ass. Kill my ass. (laughs) Um, But yeah, no, not kill me. I'm just, I'll do it myself. I'm like, I'll I'll wash y'all's hands clean. (laughs) And and the thing is, I'm like, who's really going to be sad if I'm like, 90 and i do it to myself <laughs> that's my thought too. <laughs> yeah like, like i don't think anyone's gonna be like no she had so much like they're gonna be like, like oh, she yeah. lived a great life <laughs> yeah she was happy um so yeah uh, that's one of my toxic traits is that i just i believe that it's it is my doing we should do an episode where we sit in each other's laps I think you you are like so physically like touch deprived. All you've been no, I had a lot of sex back in Texas. (laughs) I swear, I told Kai about it. I did, I did. (laughs) I'm not touch deprived. (laughs) No, you're like you're like. I just been taking ashwagandha and it's making me super horny. (laughs) I'm engorged. I'm constantly engorged. Well, I don't need ashwagandha. I'm just always horny. Like, I'm literally, I'm clinically, like, horny. Like... Real shit. Like, we need to get that diagnosed. <laughs> I'm just um, always walking around, just, like, leaving a trail behind. Like, people are always like, did you piss yourself? And I'm like, no. Like, that's a different oh. kind of... <laughs> and then I'm back there just, <laughs> like, cleaning it out. <laughs> like, with my mouth. Dude, the way you moved it down today. Um, but I know that we're I like, guess why aren't brands dying to sponsor? Then it's because like, imagine that, and then we're like, we cut to like a different. And we're like, thank you for sponsoring viewing, this. Th- video. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring <laughs> us. Um, okay, I'm bouncing off of that, and one of my last ones <laughs> is being sexually attracted to people twice my age. I don't want to go into that. I just will let that happen. Just and let that, just let that be let that mean what it means for and y'all can just interpret that how you will um, <laughs> so yeah. and I, then, feel, I feel that but that's because like i don't i don't need no fucking 23 year old who's gonna gaslight me i'm like all right shut the fuck up yeah. like but that's that, that that's neither here nor that's a big conversation <laughs> yeah. we don't have to go into that um and then my last one is um thinking grizzly bears won't kill me because <laughs> they are so cute and i just want to watch them play I think <laughs> I think <laughs> that's pretty toxic. What? 
I just think I could go up to a grizzly bear. And I want to like, watch them play. I think I could go up to a grizzly bear and pet it, and I wouldn't die. And I think a lot of people could do that, but I think we just have this stigma set in place. There's societal pressures telling us not to go fuck with grizzly bears, but I think there's actually there's probably more to that than we realize. Like there's. They're probably sin to me. You know what my one of my toxic traits is? Is every single day of my life, I will wake up and look at something on my phone, like a piece of an item that I don't need, and I will say, and I will look up from my phone at someone I'm next to and be like, you know what I need? And, s- and then say the most unneeded thing ever. <laughs> yeah, and it's yes. Like, I'm like, you know what I really need? It's like a good pair of boots. <laughs> <laughs> like, girl, you have 30 in your closet, and these are $600 with a toe <laughs> and, and, cut. And, and yeah, all of them are like so like they're like all like $300 invest in investments, quote unquote, I made because I was like, no, this is like um like it's a collector's piece. And I wore it once and the fucking soul pops off because yeah. it's like 30 years old. Yeah, I actually I have my to, final toxic trait. I have to call the shoe bird today. Oh, yeah. For all my shoes. Actually, your cobbler. Yeah, they they, Cobble. they they have uh they call it the Schuber. And now, why just... the fuck are they called cobblers? <laughs> no one's because they're hobbling and cobbling. Yeah, I well... wish I could talk about who I've been saying has been hobbling around my mind. Oh my god, that shit was actually killing me yesterday. <laughs> she, she... One day, one day we'll be able to. Yeah, she's straight. She has been hobbling. She's been hobbling around town. Hobbling, goblin. <laughs> um, fuck. One of another talk to trait popped into my mind. Um. I lost it. I lost it. Um, I think that was it. Also, us being like, oh, I one of them was like probable IBS being a toxic trait because all I do is talk about my stomach pains. Oh, that's I just that's like one of mine as them. well is like eating like absolute shit, um, but then complaining when my stomach hurts. Yeah, I'd like the thing is people. People have done a good job, have done almost too good of a job at normalizing. It's boomer like, mentality. Yeah. have Wait, but they've done too good of a job at normalizing like depression to the point that people who are just like kind of sad think they have depression. No one's done a good job of just, no- if you normalized complaining, then there wouldn't be this like over like oh, overwhelming amount of people who are like, I'm depressed because they would, they wouldn't have to put a big label on it. They could just complain willingly and freely yeah. and not be judged for complaining um i think you're like talking about therapy though um no i i think it should be normal to complain to the therapy like to the to the public like okay that's what i'm saying we need to normalize complaining to the public because what i think the problem is a lot of people are like i'm depressed here's why but then they just go on to name like a bunch of complaints about mundane life and they're like Mm -hmm. and that's why i'm so depressed and i'm like no depression depression isn't just like you're annoyed because like you have to like wake up early for school or whatever. Like that that's a complaint. Like waking up sucks. <laughs> um waking up early sucks. Um but waking once once suck. the act of waking up is what sucks and it's not the early part, then you're talking. But yeah, if we normalize complaining, less people would be running around like being like, I'm this, this, that, and the third. Um it's like, no girl, just complain. Like do your complaining. See, it's people, good. It's people good. People do that. Um and I constantly am like, we need to take away like the first amendment i said the second amendment amendment but no we need to take away the first amendment that's the right to free speech no kai Uh, i think that's the second amendment no idea oh my god i literally don't give a shit but whatever it is is the second amendment that's the bare arms because i made a miley cyrus joke when she had furry arms oh my god 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 it's really early on my amendment Oh, yeah, that's to bear arms. The First Amendment is the freedom of speech. We need to take away freedom of speech. So from jump, someone said some out-of-pocket shit, and they were like, you know, I should legally be allowed to yeah, say that. Yeah, like, y'all are big babies. Yeah, I guess I'm I'm like, everyone should get to complain. But no, there's a difference between complaining and then, like, the white people who have taken the past year as an excuse to, like, be fucking tyrants and, yeah. like... Be like fuck the police, but then in turn become police in their own way. Ooh. I I won't I won't go into depth about that. And if you don't like what I said, you have the freedom to suck my fucking balls. Balls. <laughs> balls. Um, um. Okay. Balls. I just should I say these for the next episode or? Let me see. Let me see. No, I want to. I want your real. Save it for the next episode because what are we at right now? Uh, fifty minutes. Yeah. Save save it for the. Save it for the next D, bestie. <laughs> and the Patreon. <laughs> and my balls. Um, ow, ow, okay. Ow. That's it for the fucking episode. Fuck you, no media. Just kidding. Imagine. Yeah. Okay. I just have to <laughs> spout off about this real quick. Just real fucking quick. I'll make it quick. Um, I saw 
a single comment <laughs> that absolutely boiled my fucking blood to the maximum. And I, I was blood on my curdling. No, yeah. I was on my flight and when I wasn't sleeping, it was literally all I could think about. And I was fantasizing, like actually physically arguing with this person and then also beating their fucking ass. And I was like I was gonna be boss man and like mention them by name and like call them out and like just no, like what be an we should asshole. do you should if they were because is this the person who's like left a bunch of mean things or no no, no this okay. is a different person um i don't give a shit about them because they are literally a psyop but <laughs> 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 um this person went out of their way to one call me out for being a hypocrite i have made it very clear that i'm a hypocrite i say things one week and then the next week I backtrack on it and you're just gonna have to fucking live with that. I am my own I also person. Feel like we're, live with it. I, I I might be speaking out of bounds, but I feel like we're pretty good at being like I fucking hate these kind of people. And then I I know specifically multiple times I've been like, but I'm projecting because exactly. I'm a piece of shit. Like, exactly. But that's not the real beef of it. I just need to get that out of the way because yeah. there's a lot of people out there. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, but literally, I like genuinely. It just got under my skin because this person was like, um, wasn't it like two weeks ago that y'all were saying that like gaslighting is stupid, but now, I mean, ga- gatekeeping is stupid, but now like you're gatekeeping these like two albums from us. Like it's really fucking corny and lame and y'all are losers. Like verbatim, not verbatim, but like said yeah. corny, lame losers. Like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> I don't know why that pissed me off so much because like, <sighs> You know what it is? Is because uh, one, what's funny about a comment like that is because that person only brought it up because they felt pu- like personally attacked when we said it. Yeah. But I think what was more annoying is that person then going on a like another a, tangent. A, a tangent about how like they're like the point of like loving music and stuff is that you get to share it with like people you love and stuff. And not that I don't have a love for our audience, of course. Like I like I like the reason I do what I fucking do is because like of the connection we have. Mm-hmm. But what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you're you're literally comparing you going to your, like, best... Like, of course, me and Drew share music, everything together, because it's, like, this loving relationship yeah. that we have that's very personal and connected, and that's why people like music is because it's, like, a personal connection. We were talking about motherfuckers who be, like, you don't know Aphex Twin because you girl. Exactly. Like, that's the difference is what that's we're talking about. That's the difference. But this motherfucker, fucker, <laughs> motherfucker, was, like, um, it's just corny and lame. Like, that's all I'm saying. Um, no, I, uh, oh, I can't even get my thoughts out because I'm so angry. I, I'll, I'll, I'm, it, I'm like, I'm just repeating kind of what you said yesterday because I think you place you, yesterday you did a really good job of expressing it. Yeah, so, like, the, the point that I'm trying to make is I keep some things to myself because for the last four years of my fucking life, five <laughs> years of my life, I have given everything, <laughs> all of my personality, and it has been replicated which i don't mind at all i think it's like really awesome but then like when people who don't realize who they're replicating it from i don't know i just we should talk about that one day at some point but yeah yeah, it's just like it's a different thing when you You have influence because like then you destroy these communities these small communities like when i put on this small artist like yes i support this artist and i want to see them grow as a musician but like at the same time like there's a community around these people. Like like all of you motherfuckers, I'm sure y'all are gatekeeping the shit out of us. Like Yeah, I feel I cuz I feel like that that's just it's just always a thing. Gatekeeping is like a big thing in general. Um when we say we don't fuck with gatekeeping, we specifically mean when there's someone you know in real life and they're like, "No, you don't know about that." So like you I like you just wouldn't get it. Like they're just yeah. like ahead of your time and like that kind of gatekeeping I'll pump, punch you in the face. Also like random straight white dudes like you have no right to gatekeep, girl. You don't own anything. Like you're <laughs> fucking you're a freak um uh, but yeah that's that's a different tangent but yeah there is something to be said about when you give everything you love and know to the internet including yourself there's nothing left that feels like it makes you you because it becomes a public entity and then you feel like a ghost of a cyborg um, and it's not very relatable public. it's not relatable at all it's like yeah that's like of, the least relatable yeah. take ever but it is real it is very real for us um and also that just like whatever i could go on for about for hours and hours and hours um with that being said here's the media and yeah. the reason we share media is because we do like sharing shit yes and that's that's what i was gonna say 
this motherfucker said that like I haven't been giving away the sauce for 15 fucking weeks. I know. Before also, this. even beyond that, like we've we've always been people who sh- publicly. I have what a we very like. public Spotify with everything that I'm constantly listening to. I'm the bitch who recluse myself yeah. because I don't trust so, anybody. My I was balls, tired of seeing my name mouth. dragged around. <laughs> I was tired of people being like, I found this from Enya, and then someone else being like, well, I don't know who the fuck that is, and she should kill herself. Fuck exactly. you and fuck everyone. Exactly. Um, I'll go first with the media, since I just went on a crazy tangent. <laughs> um, so, I've been listening to um, the Fantastic um, Planet soundtrack, which is really, really good. Um you should just check that out. It's just like a really good album. Um, I've been listening to DJ Screw a lot. My mind went blank is like awesome. my automatic go to every time. Yeah. Um, and then I'll give one more um, fan for fanfare for Naran Rattan by Naran Rattan. Um, it's just a really cute like song. It's just like bleeps and bloops um my that's my music my music media of the week is pretty simple um late october by harold bud it's an it's another fucking harold bud and like brian eno um do i say his name right i don't feel like i ever say it right um you eno you know Inu, i don't know um but it's another project by the both of them and it's under the album P- the pearl but late october that album is good again i've just been on my like ambient like laying in my bed after being on my computer and just like zoning out and like falling oh, yeah. away but then if i need a pickup i listen to the album in my mind by pharrell because that's just been on rotation specifically take it off and how does it feel those two songs i literally will drive around and scream and yeah that's my music media i don't have any Visual. oh actually i do have a visual media the french dispatch was oh did really you see good. it yeah i oh by the time this comes out it's out but i saw it that's last what week. i was jealous of that you you and orion yeah got it do. wasn't the event we went to it was yeah. that but yeah i i was lucky enough to see it last week and it was good oh i but it was the first wes anderson movie i saw that wasn't an animation i realized i have not seen any of his movies really? other than fantastic mr fox and isle of the dogs and um i haven't seen any of his like real movies like non-animation wise um because i'm just different and i don't know who like wes anderson really is like i don't get it like i don't know who he is <laughs> but that movie was fucking awesome in my opinion i'm sure some fucking wes anderson nerd or like film buff is gonna be like actually it's one of his like least interesting films i don't give a fuck i'll punch <laughs> you in the balls and kick you in the face like it actually it sucks really it fucking sucks balls. here's a down dude um okay <laughs> uh you my, won the internet for today you serve on the internet for today here's an updoot <laughs> here's a skeleton dancing skeleton updoot uh i don't know if i've ever we've ever talked about dead leaves um this like one of the greatest animation i've never seen it i've only seen the trailer i've never seen it oh. I've, i saw mind games but that was the movie that we were like we need to watch this next and it's i like, never saw it it's less than an hour long it is <laughs> fucking incredible is that the one where they're like there's like a car scene the very in the very beginning yeah Yeah. it is so insane like i i don't understand how you can conceptualize like an animation like this complex and like also have a fantastic fantastic story it it does like have some really gnarly like subject matter in it but like other than that like it is fantastic i love it i watch it like just all the time like i'll just randomly put it on and it'll be in the background and just like it's so inspiring you know what i i'm I'm so sorry Uh, are you done yeah i was just gonna keep going on how cool it was um i'm so annoying and i've never seen black swan until like (laughs) this past week and i'm fucking obsessed with it and i'm literally gonna be the white swan for all because i was like oh my god this movie is so great also i'm i decided i'm gonna start a letterbox and like it can be between us um just make sure you follow it and like overly interact with all my posts because my goal is to literally be like a huge letterbox account that annoys the living shit out, out of, of like all the film bros random film bros but my at is boner chomper 46 <laughs> and here's my review of the french dispatch um i said awesome as balls and then for black swan i said such a good movie why is no one ever talking about this movie that's um, true no one ever really yeah no no, no one that. talks about it like why is no one talking about that it movie? is very underground and like weird um, um since we're plugging letterbox might as well plug mine fuck you 
Sorry, mine already has 3.2 thousand followers. I don't know how at all. I don't know how. I think because you, like you are a sane like public figure who uses your name on everything. And I go onto every app in the world and I'm like, I don't want to use my name. I want, I want to be a part of the fun. Everyone gets to make... I'm like, everyone gets to make cute names and my shit is Boner Chomper 46. <laughs> I do be chomping. Uh, Drew Phillips 09 on Letterboxd. Go follow it. Check it out. Um, will yeah. be the biggest movie critiques yet. That Maybe that'll motivate me to actually review shit seriously because I only review shitty movies. And I, I have two reviews and they're very in-depth reviews of like the worst movies ever made. I literally will review every single movie under 20 words which i think is good i don't need to read some yeah. random motherfuckers take but i guess there are some people who like that i'm just projecting because i know certain people who i fucking hate and despise and they're so annoying all right that's it for the episode yeah later y'all. I, I'll, I will close this episode with a heart full of fucking hate and send you off fuck you oh okay bye bye